Hello, hello, hello. This time English. <laughs> Welcome to my vlog in those all different languages. Last time I was here uh, in the park, I uh, spoke, I spoke Polish and Uzbek, so it's time for some English today. Last film uh, about my idea of being hyperglots, but as I'm riding through the spark, terribly, t terribly tired, because I'm not very fit, but I want to. Huh? Uh, so, during those breaks, I make videos. And this video, this time I had a very crazy idea. A really crazy idea. I thought, what would happen if, for every Asian language, I mean, like, Old Church Slavonic, I know, Hittite, uh, Toharian, or any other, there was a course book, something like Familia Romana, you know, the one, a very popular one for, for Latin, that really encourages many people and makes it easier for them to learn the language, you know, to, to break the fur, to break the ice, yes, the beginner's ice. That would be wonderful. I, I had a thought, but I don't know really when I could do that uh, to make one like that. I know that there are books, similar books to Familia Romana for ancient Greek. So that's done. Oh my gosh, there's so many flies or something. Uh, but if there was something like this for Old Church Slavonic, that would be the most interesting one for me. I would like to to have it. Of course, I would like to uh, if someone. Oh, this this bench is a little bit shaky. Uh, so, if anyone, if I had time, uh, I would learn Old Church Slavonic. Of course, I want to learn it, and maybe to I, would, I should prepare such a book. That's what that would be. I think an idea. So you see, I have those crazy ideas. Yes, for all the all the Asian languages, at least those that are. Uh, that we have some texts, of course, like, so the difference between, for example, Old Church Slavonic and, and Latin, as far as I know, is that uh, there are many more texts in Latin, so we have a much bigger source of language. Uh, there are not so many texts in Old Church Slavonic, and they're mainly, as far as I know, liturgical, so that's kind of a limitation. That would be wonderful. So, if any of you watching this video uh, would be capable or is capable uh, is capable of doing such a thing you're more than welcome even if it's only the first two or three lessons and uh, I would definitely share it on my Facebook fan page uh, and f mm, make people acquainted with it because I think that's a great idea because uh, what I see, of course, Latin is much more popular anyway, but it, its popularity partially is because of the uh, easier access uh, to it. So it's easier to learn. Uh, you know, the thing is that self-learning is something different than learning at the university when someone tells you and guides you. So that the kind of book like Familia Romana makes it much easier to, for self-learners. Oh my gosh. I have to go, they're killing me, those bugs. Uh, this is one thing, and what I want... Ah! And it also reminded me, because there is a great video, well, uh, many great videos, that uh, Luke Ranieri has, um, has made. He's also made a video about his method of learning Latin. His and, like, it's another guy's method, I've forgotten uh, the other's guy name. But if look look if you're watching it, I would I have one little thing to say about this method, and why I think Familia Romana, for example, for for this purpose is is better than your method. Uh, in your method, if it's applied to a beginner who starts learning a language, it doesn't take into consideration the human aspect. So people might be bored, simply bored and discouraged. Uh, with that method as a beginner, as a beginning. It is a good method probably to strengthen your skills, to um, to develop them when you already know something and you are, let's say, convinced to the language. But if someone is starting, 
Uh, that's very tiresome. Uh, that's my opinion, yeah. It's maybe discouraging. So that's why I think a book like Familia Romana or maybe updated version more to, to, to take into consideration all, all those research that has been done in language acquisition, uh, be inspired by modern books and of course supplemented by audio material, which is uh, very, very important even for the so-called dead languages. Uh, because, and I have to agree totally here what, with what Luc Ranieri said, Scorpio Martianus, and of course others, uh, language is primarily auditory and spoken. And so it's sounds, not, not letters, not writing. Therefore, I think Familia Romana gives you, Familia Romana gives you this, uh, takes into consideration, this, this, takes this uh, human um, aspect uh, into consideration and makes the story interesting. That's why I think Cambridge course, Cambridge Latin course, is also good, uh, at least the first book and the second, probably the rest too, uh, I've read the first two uh, because they have a story in it, so it's more interesting for uh, for more people to to learn. And you know, if you're engaged in a story, uh, this is something that that gives you motivation. So that that would be it. I would like to have such books as from Romana, as CLC, as uh, also as I said with some other. Um, other ideas that have been tested in language teaching, like you can find them in other books, for example, for English, my favorite new English file, or English file, the other editions. I would like to see such books, or at least attempts to make such books for other languages. We have it for Greek, ancient Greek, we have it for Latin. Now it's time for other languages. Yes, give me a million dollars and I would just go to university, study any of them and, and try to prepare such a book, but right now I can't do it. So if any of you uh, watching this film can do it, can make the first lesson at least, or the second, you know, like in Familia Romana, uh, Roma in Italia est, so super simple sentences, just do it, just do it. The word is waiting for you. Okay, I'm not going to be eaten, I hope. So anyway, I have to finish. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a comment, what do you think? Uh, don't tell me that it's probably impossible, I know it. <laughs> uh, but if I had that million dollar, I would start this project, definitely. And I still want to learn to sea level, so very advanced level, at least six languages, and one of them is Latin. Mm, yeah. Okay. Have a nice day. Subscribe. And uh, I want to thank you all who support me also on, on Patreon. You're awesome people. And if you want to join those awesome people, the link is below. Bye-bye. 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 It's a wonderful weather. My gosh. It's so nice here.